Hey there, main stagers. I'm the main stage guru. Today we're going to talk about the scale parameter function and how you might use it to get your pitch bend to do something that you can't do inside your VI. Stand by, here it comes. <laughs> I've received some questions about programming the pitch bend of main stages VIs so that you can bend up two semitones while being able to bend down a full octave. Performers like Jordan Rudis of Dream Theater use this technique to great effect. Some VIs, such as the ES2 synth, allow you to set the up and down levels independently, but others like Retro Synth only give you a single range that works for both pitch up and pitch down. Not all is lost, however. Main stage allows you to scale MIDI parameters so that you can still get a two semitone rise and a full octave drop in VIs that don't have independent settings. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, so I called up a just a keyboard minimalist patch or concert in main stage so that I can do this very quick demonstration. And I mentioned that the ES2 synthesizer allows you to set independent control of pitch up and pitch down and you can do that over here right now the pitch up is set to two the pitch down is set to link which means it'll do whatever this does but you can you can actually change this to whatever you want and so now this will go down a full octave down and a uh, two semitones up makes it very easy but when you move over to the retro synth and I'll pull that up here real quick the pitch bend is down here in the settings and it tells you it gives you up and down and it can all you know it gives you these parameters and it will go one octave up and one octave down like this so that's not really going to work for what we want it to do if we want only a two semitone rise with a full octave drop so here's what you do go over here into the screen inspector and click on your pitch bend wheel. This is obviously mapped to a controller on your keyboard. Then you go over to the instrument channel that it's on down here in the screen inspector and then you collect MIDI control and then pitch bend. And this little box lights up over here with the saved value of the max and minimum ranges and everything like that. There's also this little box down here called scale parameter. If you click it it brings up this really, really cool dialog. Now you can set it, you know, to, to do curves and, and uh, compound things. But really in this particular case, what we want to do, since pitch bend basically starts in the middle, goes down one way, up the other. And we want it to go to zero, which gives you the full octave bend as it's set in RetroSynth. But up top, you don't want it to go all the way to the top. You want this to go down to, say, about 74, I believe, is the number that we need. Now, you notice that this kind of came down here. And you can hear that when I play middle C. Well, that's not, that's not middle C. <laughs> and that's because the center of pitch bend is now down here, and it's not in the middle. So I'm going to... I'm actually going to set it right here in the center. I'm going to double click and I'm going to set the X and Y parameters to 64. Now, yeah. all right, that's not what I wanted to do. Here we go. There you go, 64 and 64. So 64 is the even point where there's no pitch bend up or down. And now you will get an octave down and a two semitone rise that sounds like this. Then you just save that setting for that particular channel strip and your pitch bend will operate in that condition. Now for all the other channel strips that you will add to this, you, you can I mean, you can obviously copy the setting over, but it's not necessary if you're using like the ES2 that has independent control. The pitch bend will still give you the full range for all those other channel strips. This is just another example of how deep main stage really is. Even if your virtual instrument doesn't have an option you're looking for, there may be workarounds using some of the high-level main stage functions that'll help you get the job done. 
Thanks so much for watching. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell so you know when I post new content. Don't forget that all of my sound sets are available at jimquesta.com and I'm going to have some more main stage content and cool sounds coming really, really soon. I'm the Main Stage Guru. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.